Hey traders and welcome back to IFX and today let's talk about the MACD divergence. How is the MACD divergence are going to better our entries using the reversal block or the trend block? Okay, so the MACD divergence, we're going to keep it very, very simple. You can use this as a scalping strategy or you can use this on a higher time frame. And you can actually use this on any other instrument that you wish. You can use this on currency pairs. You can use this on indices and cryptos and even metals, all right? You can actually try this on the stock market. I have never tried it, but you can also take a look at it and see how the market behaves using what I've just given you and all this information. So the MACD, again, we're going to keep it very simple we already talked about the macd bars as looking at as trending but in here this is going to be totally different those divergence so what is divergence and there are many types of divergence that we're looking at but we're going to concentrate on only one type okay so the one type in here we're going to be using the macd 5 14 and 2 but then i'm later i'm going to show you examples of using the regular macd settings okay so in here if you take a look at this day compared to this next day we can see that the macd bars or bumps have actually this is lower than the next days right so we can tell that they actually they went higher right but if we compare to the actual charts we can see we can see that the market actually went lower and then from here it actually kept on going lower and then the macd kept going higher so this is actually divergence okay so this is already giving us a hint that the market should be going up instead of going lower of course you know it doesn't go up forever you know it's giving you a hint something else can happen and change the whole dynamic of the market right so it is nice it is something that we can use to use it in our favor of course we have to take into account any other support or resistance but this is already a nice guidance that we can use to actually get in into the market so like right over here although we had divergence we never got a block entry we never got a block entry right over here so we would have never gotten an entry in here because we needed a, block, a bullish block to happen so since it never happened it didn't happen right we never get an entry but we did get we would have gotten an entry from here to here oops i'm sorry from here to here since the macd compared to this day and this day it actually went higher so we would have gotten an entry right over here and we would have been able to well pretty much get something in here we know that right here we have this is more or less a uh, take profit right here it did hit it after a couple of days the market was kind of ranging in here but this would have been an initial entry right over here right so we can also tell the market actually kept on going lower and unfortunately it didn't keep on going higher and higher so it was like a preliminary entry that we could have gotten it could have been something small but it was unfortunate the market kept on going lower so the way the macd i actually was set up on the ea it's just very basic because it was quite quite hard to put it together so the only is gonna be comparing only today's and prior days divergence okay it's not gonna be looking for way behind on days okay so like maybe in here let's just say for example this could have been have been a divergence right here but this is already looking at too many days what we're doing is just looking comparing today's and yesterday's and that's pretty much it we're not going to be using more than that of course uh we would have yeah more or less we could have gotten another entry right here if we were using you know x days behind right in the back but like i said it was quite hard to kind of do something like this um so in just in the meantime we're going to be using it just for today's and prior days like divergence pretty much so we we looking at right now the one hour let's change the settings for regular settings which is going to be 12 26 and 9. so this is going to change the whole dynamic as well of divergence right so again, yes, you can tell that in here, compare it to here, it did go up, 
right compared to here to here it this one went down and the MACD went higher so yes this would have been a nice divergence entry right here but unfortunately like I said it's only looking at today's and prior day okay so we would have not entered in here at all but maybe on a smaller time frame it would have done it so if we take a look at more if we go just kind of look for any divergence we can look in here like right over here we can see the MACD is way lower right this is and what did the market do the market went down and the MACD went higher right so this right here we would have been able to get an entry like right over here this would have been one entry one block entry right here and you know we could have gotten something from here we know this is a nice resistance right here so the market came to this resistance and from there it bounced off again so we can keep we can get some smaller entries and kind of put it in our bank keep getting the smaller entries and kind of put it in our bank and that's pretty much what we want to do in here so this is divergence very very simple don't complicate it this is the way we want to use it in here there's no divergence why because the market went higher and the MACD went higher so there's no divergence there's no entry in here okay so that's something that you need to understand like right here too the MACD went lower and the the market went lower so there's no divergence is when they're going opposite directions when a divergence occurs and when a possible entry can happen right so if I show you on the EA what is going to look like is going to be very simple it's going to be the last uh, filter which is going to be filter number 10 so right here you want to enable the divergence you want to say yes then right here on uh, the time frame MACD is that it's only going to work on the same time frame that you have your entry block okay so if your entry block is one hour so you have to choose in here one hour okay if your entry block is 15 minutes then you have to change it to 15 minutes and so on and so forth so in here the divergence minimum bars what this is going to do is um, I have it as 10 okay so but what does that mean is 10 you know 10 bars in between from my current from here to the next type of bars or divergence that we're looking for so let me just kind of like rewind a little bit in here so like right here this was the lowest part of the MACD right so we're counting 10 from here on to see that a divergence happen right so pretty much the market went lower and then we're counting 10 bars from here to here if there's no 10 bars then it's not going to enter let's just say you know we had this was the lowest point right over here this was the lowest point and then uh we could just say in here we could have gotten an entry but this is not the minimum divergence that i'm looking for this is just a small example right this is the this didn't meet the 10 minimum of 10 bars i mean you can use it but it's not meeting the minimum of 10 bars that it can create a divergence so that's something that you have to understand and then um then right here we use pretty much the magd information right so if it's 12 you know 5 14 2 or you can change this to 12 right the regular macd settings 26 and 9 so you would type in here whatever macd settings that you would like to have right so 12 26 and 9 are the regular macd settings i like i said i also have 5 14 and 2 which is could be a little bit more aggressive so this is just the macd divergence filter is very very quite simple and that is what you would do right here on the EA when you want to set it up as true or false, right? So if we go down now to 15 minutes, we can tell that we can more or less get more divergence happening in here, pretty much more than what you would see on one hour. So like right here, we have a divergence, right? The market went lower. And then what did the MACD do? The MACD went higher, okay? So with the regular settings of the MACD, you're gonna get less entries with the other one you're gonna get a lot more entries so that's really up to you that you have to compare and see which one is more beneficial to you okay that is something that you have to see i like to give you options you know when it comes down to 
conservative or non-conservative, okay? So, um, like right here, this is the perfect example of what I said, minimum 10 bars. So, like right here, actually, no, this didn't go lower, so this is not a good example. Let's just keep on going in here. This could have been a divergence right here, sort of. Um, let me see the market. Okay, the market did go a little higher in here. And then, so if I take this high of the day, the MACD went lower, okay, compared to this new high. So this made a new high, right, compared to yesterday. And the MACD went actually lower. So this is a divergence. So if we would have had a block entry right here, okay, so we would have had a block entry right over here, then we would have had entered right here, okay, on a nice scalping selling opportunity because we had a nice divergence, okay. So we move on, we take a look at any divergence happening in the market, and then we take advantage of that. Right here, there's no divergence because the MACD went lower and the market kept on going lower, so there's no divergence happening. So again, you know, it's nice because if you don't spot it yourself, of course, there are some indicators that gives it to you automatically. It's just that DEA is going to enter for you automatically, so that's the whole idea. So right over here, let me just erase this. We have another nice divergence, right? The market went higher, right, compared to yesterday, and the MACD went lower compared to yesterday, and we have a nice divergence, so this would have been a nice entry right over here, a nice sell entry. You know, a small entry, but it would have been something, right, nice and scalping entry because we know we are above prior day mid-level, so that's something that you have to keep in mind as well. Okay, so we'll keep on moving, and that's pretty much it. I mean, you know, like I said, it's, it's quite easy. It's not that hard. It's just finding divergence happening in the market. So if I change this to my previous settings right here, you're going to see that there's some differences because the numbers are quite drastic. So you see now a lot of more bumps happening. So that means we can get a lot more divergence happening in here. So before we didn't have a divergence right here, but we did have a divergence happening also within the same day, okay? So when you use the smaller MACD for scalping, like right here, went higher, so it's gonna also use divergence within the same day, especially if you use a smaller time frame. I mean, a smaller MACD, right? So right here, this would have been a nice divergence. The entry would have been like right here. And well, this would actually was a nice entry, right? So it does give you a lot more divergence when it comes down to a smaller time frame set and like these settings, okay? Like right here, we have another one. Uh, this was the highest for the day on the MACD. And then right here, the market made a higher high. And then we would have gotten the entry right here and it would have been small pips but like i said you know this for scalping this this is a great opportunity to scalp divergence pretty much right you're not looking for home runs you're looking for some smaller pips here and there so well you kind of get the idea already how to work divergence how you will actually would get an, um, an ea entry so i'm going to show you now what are some of the settings that we actually could get, right? So we, I'm right here, I run some settings with divergence. This was using 15 minutes and using one hour. So very straightforward. And I used the reversal block. I use block settings, a pretty high block settings, just to kind of see that I wouldn't get so many uh, entries. And then I use as a higher time frame moving average, the daily 72 simple moving average. And then I used the MACD divergence. I went the conservative way, 12, 26, and 9, minimum 10 bars in between. TP1 was 20% as a target, 60%, you know, averaging. And then right here, um, this was the drawdown was 7%, number of trades, 71, profit factor 3, and profit 1,500. Okay, so that's not bad. Um, for running it for almost 10 months, right, you know, with this type of setting. So we did have an extra filter, which was right here, and then that was pretty much it. And then also the block settings was quite high, right, it was pretty high. So now let's take a look at 
completely different settings. This is reversal block 80, settings of 80. We use the RSI as an extreme and before this was more of a trend entries, right? Using a, a daily moving average right here it was a trend. Right here we we using another another extreme. We using the same as before divergence 1226 at 9. Everything stayed the same. My drawdown went higher. My number of trades went a lot higher, 133. My profit factor stayed almost the same, but my profit pretty much was almost double, right? Well, not double, but a lot more than this, a lot more than this. So was not bad, and drawdown, the drawdown was not huge compared to this. So this was not bad at all. So using an extreme uh, RSI using the same time frame was actually quite good, right? So now instead of um oh I thought, I thought i had done the rsi on a higher time frame but i didn't i actually went to change it now to one hour entries just to kind of see that what we get so you can try this on your own changing the rsi uh, on a higher time frame one hour just to kind of see what you get so in here again i use the same time frame entry uh, one hour rsi the divergence has to be on the same time entry 1226 at 9 everything stayed the same i only increased the tp1 to 30 percent because it was one hour although it should be higher i left it as 30 percent a little bit higher and as you're able to tell the drawdown went way lower so we went to two percent 30 entries and the uh, profit factor was high but of course the profit itself was low so this is something that you can uh, maybe the profit could be set to a little bit higher right it all depends on some well some pairs but this is something is not bad if you are trading if you want to be conservative just like how we used on the previous example for the murray that you trade on one hour you want to be extra conservative you want to get some entries but you don't want to go overboard right so this is pretty much really safe comparing you know to other comparing to this you know a lot more entries a lot more to worry about so this is really conservative this is something that you can take a look at and then in here i change it up everything stayed the same it's just that in here, instead of the uh, reversal block, I change it to the trend block retest entries, okay? So retest only, not the block initial entry. Uh, so, and I also increase the TP1 to 45%, kind of like see if I was able to get more, uh, a better, um, you know, a lot more profit, but the drawdown, of course, went higher because my profit target was way higher, right? I got almost the same type of entry, number of trades, 30 and 30, so that difference was not much. The only difference, yes, was compared in here of um, almost $200, right, of profit, but my drawdown was way bigger. So in a way, you know, I would just stick with this one and or decrease my TP1, which would be better, right? So one of those things, you know, you kind of have to play around also with, with this. So that's a big difference right there. And then right here, I went, like pretty much went all just crazy with reversal block back to 15 minutes, 150. And then I didn't use any filter, just the divergence, but I used the 5, 14, and 2, okay? So now take a look in here. We had a 15% drawdown. We had 159 trades compared a lot way more compared to any other uh, strategy and then the of course the profit was a lot okay it was almost like a lot compared to every you know any of this right so yes the the only bad thing in here of course will be the drawdown unfortunately it's double than this but we also had double um of profit so you know it's something that i'll leave you with this you know something that i like hmm do i want more money but then do i also want to have a big drawdown that is something that you have to think about so this is the difference between having in you know lowering your macd bars right you're gonna get a lot more entries and not having any other filter my main filter right here was the block which you know more or less you can work but you know i'll leave this to you and of course my tp1 was only 20 percent which you know this is more like scalping trying to 
leave it, you know, in and out, in and out as much as I can. Of course, we still have a nice drawdown, but it was unavoidable. So which strategy would you pick, right? That's the question. What would you pick or what would you change in here? Just let me know what you think, you know, would you change anything? Would you add or remove something that I might, might not see? So this is the best thing about this, you know, let me know on the Telegram, sign up for the Telegram channel, like the video, sign up for the YouTube, subscribe, and then I'll see you on the next following videos.